Now, good morning, students. So, in this video, I will be discussing on how to simulate the bus topology using NS3. Okay. So, let us start. So, as you already know, that the program should be available in the scratch folder. So, directly I will navigate to scratch folder. The desktop, I will go to NS Solomon 3.27. From there, I will go to NS 3.27. From there, scratch, and here the bus topology file is available. Means I have just uh, copied there. So, before watching this video, I recommend you first you watch the video on point to point topology. So, the video link for simulation of point to point topology is available in the description box. So, I first you watch that, then you can come to this video where you can easily understand. So, bus topology, we already know what is bus topology. In bus topology, there will be a single cable where multiple nodes are connected. So, when you want to transfer data to any of the system, then the cable that is what the Ethernet LAN will distribute the data to all the nodes. However, only the intended node will receive the data, remaining all nodes will just discard it. Okay. So, in order to demonstrate the same using NS3, so here I have taken two networks. One is point to point network that consists of two nodes. So, that what I have told in the previous video about how to simulate using point to point network. And one more network I am taking using in uh, CSMA network that is using three nodes. Okay. Let's start. So, I am just uh, creating two nodes in the point to point network using an object P2P nodes. Okay. P2P nodes dot create of two. So, two nodes are created in the point to point network. Now, three nodes I am creating in the CSMA network. Here you can see that node container csma nodes csma nodes dot create of three so three nodes are created but here the point to point network consists of two nodes and the csma network consists of three nodes one node i am making is a client in the point to point one i will make as a server in the csma but there is no connection between these two networks so what i mean to say there is no interface to transfer the data so in order to create a connection what i will do I will just add the second node of point to point network to CSMA network. Then what happens? Then via N1, I can transfer the data from N0 to any other system in the CSMA network. For that sake, here I added one more line known as this one. CSMA nodes dot, I am just adding P2P nodes dot get of one. Means this is what P2P nodes, my object of point to point network. P2P nodes dot get of one is nothing but the second node. So, the second node is added to the CSMA network. That is the meaning. So, once added, then I have created another three nodes. So, totally now the CSMA network consists of four nodes. So, this node N1 is a part of point to point network. Also, it is a part of CSMA network. I can access this uh, node 1 in two ways. Like P2P nodes dot get of 1 will return you N1 or CSMA nodes dot get of 0 will also return you N1. Okay. Hope so you understood. So now after creating the network, uh, I am just calling the point to point helper uh, where I am setting the data rate and delay for point to point network. Similarly, uh, and then I am uh, uh, installing this uh, point to point uh, uh, that is what uh, devices onto the network interface card that is network device container. Similarly, you do for CSM network. You call, you call the CSM helper, set the data rate and a delay, and install those nodes onto the net device containers. Next, I need to set the IP address. In order to do that, I need to call Internet Stack Helper to make those as communication nodes. But here you should see carefully that whenever I call this uh, class Internet Stack Helper, the object is stack, I am not installing both the nodes in point to point network into uh, communication nodes because here you can see stack dot install I am installing only the first node in point to point p2p nodes dot get up zero and remaining four nodes that is csm nodes I am installing into the 
CSMA network. By mistake, if you type here as P2P nodes without this one, then what happens? These two nodes will also this node, these two nodes, the stack helper is installed. Again, these four nodes, the internet stack helper is installed. Then what happens for N1? Two IP addresses will be assigned, which is not allowed. In order to avoid that, what I have done? I have just added, uh, installed the internet stack helper, only one node to the point to point. And for CSM network, I installed to the remaining four nodes. Okay, That is what the meaning of this uh, point. Stack dot install means internet stack helper is installed only to the first node in the point to point network and the remaining four nodes I am considered in the CSMA network. Then uh, remaining thing is same you just uh, assign the uh, base address and the subnet mask. What is the base address for uh, point to point interfaces? It is 10.1.1.0. So now this is what 10.1.1.0. For N1, the address will be 10.1.1.1. For this, no IP address is assigned from the point to point network because I installed only one node into the stack helper. So now the IP address for point to point is what? 10.1.1.1. And for point, uh, CSM network interfaces, I have set the base addresses 10.2.1.0. That is what here 10.2.1.0. Now for all these four systems, IP address is assigned. 10.2.1.1, this is 10.2.1.2, this is 10.2.1.3, and this is 10.2.1.4. Okay. So even assigning IP address is completed. Now we will set which is the uh, client node and which is the server node. You know already how to do it. Just I am uh, setting the port number to the uh, echo server helper. That is port number I have given is 9. You can give any number between 0 to 65,535. Any number you can assign. So the server applications I am installing to where means I am making which node as my server CSMA nodes dot get of three means CSMA nodes dot get of three means this is node not node one node two node three so this N4 I am making it as a server which is nothing but 10.2.1.4 is my server you can make any node as server and then I am starting at 1.0 and I am stopping at 10 seconds then I am making a uh, the client node is one, this one. Client applications, echo client. I am installing all the applications that is client applications to P2P nodes dot get of zero. It's this node I am making it as the client. This one, N0. So N0 is the client, N4 is the server. So in order to transfer the data from the client, what I am doing here, I am just giving uh, for the client helper the credentials of CSMA network that is get address of three, at the word server IP address as well as port number 9 both the things I am giving to the client so now the client can use those credentials and it can send a maximum packets of 1 you can set any number there the interval is 1.0 and the packet size is 1024 and then I am starting at 2 seconds and then ending at 10 seconds so since we have multiple networks here I need to generate the routing tables for each and every node in order to get that you need to call one class known as IPv4 global routing helper populate routing tables. Then what it will do? It will generate the routing table for every node. Means two nodes in the point to point network and three nodes in the CSMA network. And this part already you know. This is for generating the PKF files. Just I am calling the object of point to point helper that is point to point. This is what uh, point to point. And for CSMA helper, this is CSMA. Using that, you can just call the PKF nodes. So point to point dot enable pcap all means P2P. So uh, two nodes, the uh, pcap files will be generated with the name P2P. And for CSMA network, we have three nodes. So three files will be generated. And this is for XML file, means animation file. So P3.xml. And I have set all the positions here. Uh, P2P nodes dot get of zero. The first node, I have set some 10, 10. And for CSMA nodes dot get of zero, remaining four nodes from network, CSMA network have set the positions. Run and destroy. So this is how the bus topology is simulated. So just I will execute the code now. And uh, please note down uh, the XML file name and the PK file names. For point to point, the PK file name is P2P. And for uh, uh, CSMA network, the PK file name is CSMA. 
and for uh, animation file that is XML file, the file name is p3 that you should keep in mind. Okay. Now I will run the code. Already you know how to run the code. In order to run the code, you need to move to NS 3.27 directory. Okay. I will just open the terminal and then uh, change. I will move to root directory. Okay. Then change the directory to desktop. From there, NS all in one 3.27. From there, NS 3.27. There you can type the execution web tools that is dot slash web iPhone iPhone run scratch for the file in p3 and then execute it. Yeah, this is what the output. The, don't worry about this. This is just the mobility. So here you can see the command line output at time 2 seconds the client sent 1024 bytes to server our server is here 10.2.1.4 and server port number is 9 and at next second sometime server has received so and so from client and again server is sent uh, acknowledgement back to client and the client received that acknowledgement so this is just a handshaking okay now we will see the pkf files and the xml files just i will type ls and i will check whether the pkf files and the xml files are generated or not just type ls so here you can see uh, what is my xml file name i have given p3 here you can see p3.xml and what are my pkf files p2p and csma here you can see csma 1 to 1 csma 2 to 0 csma 3 to 0 and csma 4 to 0 so four nodes in csma and one node in point to point here you can see that p2p 0 to 0 so in this way the pkf files are the uh, XML files are generated. First, I will show you how to run the animation file, XML file. So, in order to run, I told you know you should go to this NS all in one 3.27 directory. Just I will keep cd dot dot. So, I have went to previous directory. I will just clear the screen. Then you should type dot slash net anim and then click enter. Uh, sorry, from NS all in one 3.27, you should go to network animator directory. Change directory to net anim directory there you should type dot slash net anim so in this directory you should go desktop to ns all in one 3.27 from there net anim there you should type dot slash net anim and then click enter then automatically that application will open now yeah, this is what a network animator application so the complete information regarding this i already told in point to point network so please watch my previous video the link is available in the description box so just go to browse there you can see p3.xml this file and then click open so you can see uh, these two nodes are point to point and these three nodes are uh, csma once i click play button then the second node will automatically add it to the csma network and they will set it to their respective positions uh, here you can see so the first packet is moving and then i am going back the acknowledgement actually it has to go to 2, 3 and 4 since I am using the older version that is NS 3.27 that is not supporting if you use NS 3.33 version then you can see that packet is moving to 2, 3 and 4 okay so this is how you need to open the animator file and uh, uh, once again and I also have shown you uh, the statistics all those once again I will play the same file p3.xml play here you can see the statistics okay? Uh, which node uh, from which node to which node the data is moving and the packet sequence diagrams all those you can analyze so this is how you can talk and in order to open the white uh, sorry, speak of files we need an application known as white shark so just to open the white shark tool you can go type white shark and you can pass the file name here itself or you can just click enter so white shark tool will be opened from there you can browse the respective pkf files and then you can analyze so this is what the uh, wireshark a powerful tool uh, already i have made a video uh, regarding the wireshark uh, how to filter the packets and how to uh, change the layout you please see my playlist okay of wireshark so just click on file open and then uh, you can go to uh, any file like a csm 2.0 pkf file open you can see the complete statistics which is the source node 
this is a source to destination is going ARP protocol I will take one more file uh, like a P2P point to point network I will take yeah, this is what a point to point zero to zero you can see source node is 10.1 it is going to destination and again getting the acknowledgement back if you want to get more information about this uh, UDP protocol you can just click here in the packet plane there you will get which is a source port destination port and even IP the complete header format some more information regarding this Wireshark I, I am uploading the videos on Wireshark tool just watch my Wireshark playlist where you will get a number of videos regarding Wireshark okay. so in this way you can use the Wireshark tool to open the PKF files and also net, uh, network animator application to open the uh, XML file so hope so you uh, enjoyed the video uh, thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos bye